Okay. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Raw. Over here at Raw Customs. The house. Represent New Era Car Club. Alright. I came to you to bring you the start of the build of the box. And you already seen me pick the wood up. So I'm now I'm about to put it to use. Alright. Right I have here, you know, I have some things, uh, like I got my wire laid, you know, already pulled out my wires. I done ran my wires, some more wires and stuff. And um, I'm finna build a box up in here. I'm trying to go with about 33 cubes for the 615s. I'm going to try to get it tuned at about 30 hertz. So, let's start. All right. I have my wood over here. I have my little, my little, my little uh, diagram, so to say. I don't know if you can see it. What I'm, how I'm about to do this. You know, I just scribble, scrabble some stuff. So, hey, I ain't no artist or nothing, so don't laugh. But, you know, I have my little measuring tape, my little skill saw. And I done marked out my first cut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut mine piece by piece so I can try to make sure everything is not is lining up right as I go. But, and I won't be wasting wood. So, let me start. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, I didn't move the situation into the house due to the rain. Rain just came out of nowhere. Then when I checked the forecast, they said scattered showers. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. But luckily, I was able to have enough pieces cut so I could come on in here and it won't really stop me too bad. And I can go ahead and do what I need to do anyway to finish up the bill because I got to put this piece together and then take some more measurements because I'm finding out that building the box um, with the measurements a wall because it's my first time doing it you know I'm, I'm finding out that I have to you know I'm going to have to add certain pieces on while it's inside the vehicle so what I got to do here I got to put this on him like this I gotta put this up there like this cause right here, like right here, like this the inside of the box over here. And I gotta come up and stuff, you know. But I'm gonna bring it out to here in the back cause I'm gonna put my batteries up under here. Put some batteries under there. And I'm gonna, I brought it on out a little bit. So then I'm gonna come up and then come back over like that. And then so forth and so on you'll see as i go but yeah so this is how it's gonna look like a little l so far just like that tight bun hiding under there how the battery's gonna be tucked up under there so that's what i'm doing right now so i get all the pieces and stuff put together and once i get everything fit back in the truck i turn you on and let you see what it is looking like okay I have that piece assembled now and I also went ahead and placed this little side on because it's a little it's got to get up over a wheel well right here so I can extend my port over it so I have that connected which brings me to this right here this piece right here I've already assembled it together as well as you can see, it has a little degree on it. So what I did was, earlier, before the rain caught me, I was able to 
make me a small template of the angle I needed which is right here I have temporarily attached to the side I'm gonna remove it once I bond the two pieces of wood together right here so what I'm about to do is see cuz it's on that slope and it has that little gap in it and stuff you know going out through here so I gotta fill that up and then I'm gonna read that's why I was like I'm gonna fiberglass some of this stuff too to make sure that it's you know pretty steady so what I'm gonna do is right here I have me some bondo glass so I'm about to mix me up some bondo glass and I'm about to pack it in here so to bond that together get that done real hard and um, I'm gonna remove this tomorrow and then I'm gonna pack a little bit on that little end down in there but I'm also gonna turn it over on the back side I'm gonna turn it over on the back side and maybe pack some in there and then I sand it all down and stuff and get it pretty smooth and once I get that on I have my piece here cut on a little degree I don't know if you can see it it attaches like this it attaches like this and now what this piece is it's part of the top of the port so after I get this figured up and all this put together because this piece right here once all this is connected right here all that connected then all this adjoins to this that's why I have it because like I said it goes over that little wheel well that sits up right here and it's at a little angle so then it sits down on top of here and then once I get all that and get my other side on I'll be able to calculate the top of the box measurements to get it where it needs to be. So, yeah, that's what I got going on. So, once I get all that did, I'm gonna uh, cut you back on. Okay, I'm back. Just to give y'all a little picture of what I was trying to make get created back there. Okay. Right. That area there. Just to create enough airspace, I decided to put the batteries underneath that lip. But I'm going to bring the rest of the box to here. You know, just, just not that part. That's going to be a part that's missing. But from here on back is what I'm going to do there. And on that port, this is the port. I use that Rondo glass right here. I'm going to have to sand it down. And get it all sanded up, cleaned up, get it smoothed down tomorrow. Couldn't do it tonight, I'm in the house. And I just got that sitting right there because I'm gonna actually have to attach these two pieces here into the truck when I get it, the, the, the bottom part of it. This piece here is coming off. I just only have this right here to help keep that angle as you can see right now yep so that's gonna be the port this here at the top how it curves this piece here little piece of stick I have screwed in to also help attach this and keep that strengthening up right here as the glue dry I'm probably gonna more than most likely add me some rondo glass on this thing here too I want to make sure 
I did it don't go nowhere. When the bass note drop. Cause it's gonna be dropping. And uh yeah, so that's what I got. And as you can see, I got my little helper right here and she's holding that for me. So this is what it looked like. This the, this the part, this is going to be the back of the box. Yeah, that's the back. Well, I guess you should probably already know that. But. So that's what's up. So, after I get everything finished up, I'll be putting this in and fixing on it and sanding it down tomorrow. Then I'll bring you some more footage of how it's coming. So, I think tonight I'm going to end this on a day two build, I guess.